Hardware hack, a new report shows China may have infiltrated Amazon and Apple, but both deny that claim. Plus, making a statement, Bay Area artist creates the latest time cover showcasing Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. And the San Francisco strike, thousands of Marriott workers walk off the job to demand higher pay. Good afternoon, I'm Julie Watts. Sorry for the delay, this is your Picks Now update. This just in, Bloomberg is reporting China may have implemented tiny surveillance microchips into their servers of about 30 U.S. companies, including Apple and Amazon. The chips, which are about the size of a grain of rice, were allegedly found in the motherboards of servers assembled by San Jose-based company Super Microcomputer. Now, the report says top secret investigation into the hack has been going on for three years. When asked for comment, Super Microcomputer said they are unaware of an investigation. And both Amazon and Apple are denying that report. Apple saying in part, on this, we can be very clear. Apple has never found malicious chips, hardware manipulations, or vulnerabilities purposely planted in any server. Amazon adding it found no evidence to support claims of malicious chips or hardware modifications. Shares for both Apple and Amazon closed down today after the release of that report. The senators are getting their first look at the FBI investigation into sexual misconduct claims against Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Senate GOP leaders are satisfied by the report and want to push forward for a confirmation vote. But Senate Democrats felt it was incomplete and too narrow in scope. So it's clear to me that there were many uh, potential eyewitnesses, corroborating witnesses that just weren't interviewed that wouldn't have taken that much time. Uh, so it's very frustrating. Tomorrow, a vote to move Kavanaugh's nomination to the full Senate is expected. A final vote could come as early as Saturday. President Trump continues to stand by his nomination. Earlier today, he tweeted in response to the concerns brought by Democrats, quote, this is now the seventh time the FBI has investigated Judge Kavanaugh. If we made it 100, it would still not be good enough for the obstructionist Democrats. Meanwhile, Time Magazine has put Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, the Bay Area professor accusing Kavanaugh of sexually assaulting her back in high school, on the cover. The illustration of Ford was drawn by San Francisco-based artist John Mavrudis, and it is made up of words and phrases from her testimony. New details now on the suspicious death in Morgan Hill. 27-year-old Curtis Stapleton was found unresponsive on the sidewalk of Concord Circle back in July and later pronounced dead. After a three-month investigation, detectives found enough evidence to arrest 30-year-old Martin uh, Mason Garcia, the last person to be seen with Stapleton. The two were co-workers involved in a physical fight before Stapleton was found. Garcia is booked on murder charges at the Santa Clara County Main Jail. Right now, thousands of Marriott hotel workers are picketing outside several hotels in downtown San Francisco. They're calling for higher wages, workplace safety, and job security. This after a contract dispute between more than 2,000 workers and Marriott, the city's largest hotel employer. So we're asking for significant raises that bring workers up above the poverty line. We want people to be able to work full time at Marriott and still be able to provide for their families. So we're looking at uh, dollars on the hour raises. Marriott says it is disappointed by the union's decision to strike during this busy convention season. Marriott workers are also on strike in San Jose and in Boston. The project along Van Ness in San Francisco started two years ago, and it was originally supposed to be done sometime next year. But now the SFMTA is saying it won't be done until the early part of 2021. They say it's due to abandoned utilities underground that they weren't in expecting to dig up. Local businesses are getting frustrated. Yesterday, my entrance was completely sealed off. There wasn't even a way to get into my business. So I had to call SFMTA and say, can you guys provide an entrance? Now, the MTA says it has an outreach team that tries to stay in close contact with those businesses. Even then, some of the stores, bars and restaurants are struggling, and they say they're taking things one day at a time. Well, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month to honor the cause. Officers with the Fremont Police Department are wearing pink patches. Here's the department's public affairs specialist and another officer showing off their...
sponsored by Chevron, proud to support STEM education in the Bay Area. Meet our STEM standout, Nicole Collins Puri. TechBridge Girls is focusing on exciting, educating, and equipping girls to really see STEM as a vehicle to economic mobility and better life's chances. We're creating an environment that says, we see you, we hear you, and we understand your journey. Chevron and KPIX5 teaming up to support STEM education in the Bay Area. KPIX has arranged for this first live telecast of open heart surgery. You ever seen this little gadget? We call it the Live Eye Van. This is kind of the first computer of the 1990s. Virtual reality is past its awkward teenage years. Hi, my name is Pepper. But like all great pioneers, and this is your Pix Now update, we keep moving forward. The view from Sky Drone 5. 70 years of Bay Area stories. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. What would you do if a date asked you how much you weigh? Leave. Flap him. Cuss him. It was going so well until. Ask him how much his mama weighs. We're talking about weight, huh? Well, how much your mama weigh? All new Family Feud. You ain't got to worry about how much I weigh. You won't be feeling nothing over here. <laughs> Family Feud, weeknights at 7 on KPIX 5. Behind every iconic moment is a story. No one in the country believed that we could do it. And for 70 years, KPIX 5 has been bringing the Bay Area sports story home. How about just one more at bat? How about a couple more World Series so we can keep doing this? From the first televised game in Northern California, we've had a front row seat. I'm tired of that Chucky nonsense? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. For the highlights. Oh, the band is out on the field! The heartbreaks and the heroes that changed the game. Rain is a blessing. Just an outstanding football game. Let's go! World champion. The moments that changed us all. It's a madhouse, a candlestick. We never get tired of talking about Bay Area sports, but tonight it's one for the record books. 70 years of champions and counting. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. There is a unique power in truth. What's your message to
in the Bay Area. Change has always been part of the story. But all this time, we've had changes too. KPIX 5, proud to be Northern California's first television station. For 70 years, we've been trusted to tell your story. And whatever comes next... The latest in this original report. No, that's one thing that will never change. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. You ready? I'm ready. I'm 10 steps ahead of you. I'm not buying what you're saying to me, but I'm going to let you dig your hole. No, 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 no. You don't hustle me. Now we're getting somewhere. You're making up a story now. I can tell. I'm like a truth machine. We're done. Judge Judy, weeknights at 7.30 on KPIX 5. Knob Hill, 1948. A tower goes up on this landmark hotel. San Francisco's pioneer television station. The call letters KPIX were short for pictures as we brought the very first ones into local living rooms. From wherever the news happens. The signing of the Treaty of Peace with Japan. And along with the Bay Area, we've been innovating ever since. KPIX.
Good afternoon. I'm Alan Martin. This is your Picks Now update. Bloomberg is reporting that China may have implanted tiny surveillance microchips into the servers of about 30 U.S. companies, including Apple and Amazon. The chips, which are about the size of a grain of rice, were allegedly found on the motherboards of servers assembled by San Jose-based company Super Microcomputer. The report says that the top secret investigation into the hack has been going on for three years. When asked for comment, Super Microcomputer said it is unaware of an investigation. Both Amazon and Apple are denying the report, Apple saying in part, on this, we can be very clear. Apple has never found malicious chips, hardware manipulations, or vulnerabilities purposefully planted in any server. Amazon adding it had found no evidence to support claims of malicious chips or hardware modifications. Shares for both Apple and Amazon closed down today after the release of that report. Senators getting their first look at the FBI investigation into sexual misconduct claims against Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Senate GOP leaders are satisfied with the report and want to push forward for a confirmation vote, but Senate Democrats feel that it was incomplete and too narrow in scope. So it's clear to me that there were many uh, potential eyewitnesses, corroborating witnesses that just weren't interviewed that wouldn't have taken that much time. Uh, so it's very frustrating. Committed. Tomorrow, a vote to move Kavanaugh's nomination to the full Senate is expected. A final vote could come as early as Saturday. President Trump continues to stand by his nominee. Earlier today, he tweeted a response to the Democrats' concern, saying this is now the seventh time the FBI has investigated Judge Kavanaugh. If we made it 100, it would still not be good enough for the obstructionist Democrats. Meanwhile, Time Magazine has put Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, the Bay Area professor accusing Kavanaugh of sexually assaulting her back in high school, on the cover. The illustration of Ford drawn by San Francisco-based artist John Marutis. He is made up, or it is made up of words and phrases from her actual testimony. New details now on a suspicious death in Morgan Hill. 27-year-old Curtis Stapleton was found unresponsive on the sidewalk of Concord Circle back in July and later pronounced dead. After a three-month investigation, detectives found enough evidence to arrest 30-year-old Martin Mason Garcia, the last person to be seen with Stapleton. The two were co-workers involved in a physical fight before Stapleton was found. Garcia is booked on murder charges at the Santa Clara County Main Jail. Right now, thousands of Marriott hotel workers are picketing outside several hotels in downtown San Francisco. They are calling for higher wages, workplace safety, and job security. This after a contract dispute between more than 2,000 workers and Marriott, the city's largest hotel employer. So we're asking for significant raises that bring workers up above the poverty line. We want people to be able to work full time at Marriott and still be able to provide for their families. So we're looking at uh, dollars on the hour raises. Marriott says it's disappointed by the union's decision to strike during the busy convention season. Marriott workers are also on strike in San Jose and Boston. Soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo has been left out of Portugal's national team for the next two matches. This as Ronaldo faces rape allegations dating back almost 10 years. A Nevada woman, Catherine Mayorga, says that Ronaldo assaulted her at a Las Vegas hotel back in 2009, leaving her with post-traumatic stress. Las Vegas police have reopened the investigation and now Ronaldo's sponsors are weighing in. In an email to Associated Press, Nike said this, quote, we are deeply concerned by the disturbing allegations and will continue to closely monitor the situation. Nike's had a contract with uh, Ronaldo since 2003. And if you're thinking of heading down, catching the Oakland Raiders face off against the Chargers in L.A. this Sunday, be prepared to face some limits on beer at the StubHub Center. You'll only be able to get one beer per transaction, and they're not going to serve beer after halftime. It's because of a years-long restriction on Raider fans and incidents of fan unrest. The Raiders are going for their second consecutive win on Sunday. Well, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and to honor the cause, officers with the Fremont Police Department are wearing pink patches. This is the department's public affairs specialist and another officer showing what they look like. By the way, those patches available to purchase at the Fremont PD. Fleet Week festivities ramped up today in San Francisco, and check it out, softball teams from the Coast Guard, the Marines, the Navy, all squaring off against local law enforcement agencies and community organizations. It's the eighth annual San Francisco Fleet Week softball competition. The winning team gets a big trophy and big bragging rights.
And as of a few minutes ago, the world famous Blue Angels were in the sky performing their first practice run over the city and performances will begin tomorrow. We invite you to use our exclusive Salesforce cameras to watch all the action this fleet week. If you're at home or at work, it's a perfect place to see the Blue Angels fly over the city. We'll be streaming this view of the waterfront this afternoon. The air shows do run Friday through Sunday. It'll be on KPIX.com, our Facebook, Periscope, and YouTube sites. And we'll be back another update top of the hour. Watch or listen to the updates on your favorite platforms. And be sure to leave us a review on iTunes, Amazon, and Google. And let us know what you think. Picks Now News is sponsored by Chevron. Proud to support STEM education in the Bay Area. Meet our STEM standout, Nicole Collins Puri. TechBridge Girls is focusing on exciting, educating, and equipping girls to really see STEM as a vehicle to economic mobility and better life's chances. We're creating an environment that says, we see you, we hear you, and we understand your journey. Chevron and KPIX5, teaming up to support STEM education in the Bay Area. Until... Ask him how much his mama weighs. <laughs> oh, we talking about weight, huh? Well, how much your mama weighs? All new Family Feud. You ain't got to worry about how much I weigh. You won't be feeling nothing over here. <laughs> Family View, weeknights at 7 on KPIX 5. Behind every iconic moment is a story. No one in the country believed that we could do it. And for 70 years...
This is your Picks Now update. I'm Alan Martin. I'm Juliet Goodrich. Here are some of your top headlines. Today, senators are looking through the FBI's report into sexual misconduct claims against Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Senate Democrats say the report is incomplete and too narrow in scope, while Senate GOP leaders say they are satisfied with it and there's just no pleasing the left. They've always got a reason why the goalposts need to be moved uh, further down the field, farther down the field, and uh, Nothing we could do would satisfy them. Tomorrow, a vote to move Kavanaugh's nomination to the full Senate is expected, and a final vote could come as early as Saturday. Now taking a live look inside this Make America Great Again rally in Rochester, Minnesota, where President Trump is set to speak any moment now. All week, he's been standing by Judge Kavanaugh. Earlier today, he slammed the Democrats for their criticism of the FBI probe, tweeting, this is now the seventh time the FBI has investigated Judge Kavanaugh. If we made it 100, it would still not be good enough for the obstructionist Democrats. Meanwhile, across the nation, people held anti-Kavanaugh rallies today in what's being called the National Day of Action. They marched in protest of the vote on Kavanaugh's nomination. The biggest rally was held in Washington, D.C. Check this out. Time Magazine has put Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, the Bay Area professor accusing Kavanaugh of sexually assaulting her back in high school, on the cover. The illustration of Ford was drawn by San Francisco-based artist John Mavrudis. It's made up of words and phrases from her testimony. We have a developing story out of the tech world. Bloomberg is reporting China may have implanted tiny surveillance microchips into the servers of about 30 U.S. companies, including Apple and Amazon. The chips, which are about the size of a grain of rice, were allegedly found on the motherboards of servers assembled by San Jose-based company Super Microcomputer. The report says the top secret investigation into the hack has been going on for three years. When asked for comment, Super Microcomputer said it is unaware of an investigation. And both Amazon and Apple are denying the report. Apple saying, in part, on this, we can be very clear, Apple has never found malicious chips, hardware manipulations, or vulnerabilities purposely planted in any server. Amazon adding it had found no evidence to support claims of malicious chips or hardware modifications. Well, shares for both Apple and Amazon closed down today after the release of this report. Right now, thousands of Marriott hotel workers are picketing outside several hotels in downtown San Francisco. They're calling for higher wages, workplace safety, and job security. And this after a contract dispute between more than 2,000 workers in Marriott, the city's largest hotel employer. So we're asking for significant raises that bring workers up above the poverty line. We want people to be able to work full time at Marriott and still be able to provide for their families. So we're looking at uh, dollars on the hour raises. Workers are also on strike in San Jose and Boston. It could last for days. Marriott says it's disappointed by the union's decision to strike during the busy convention season. The project along Van Ness in San Francisco started two years ago. It was supposed to be done next year, but now the SFMTA is saying it won't be done until the early part of 2021. They say it's due to abandoned utilities underground that they weren't expecting to dig up. Local businesses are getting frustrated. Yesterday, my entrance was completely sealed off. There wasn't even a way to get into my business. So I had to call SFMTA and say, can you guys provide an entrance? Well, they say it has an outreach team that tries to stay in close contact with the businesses. Even then, some of the stores, bars, and restaurants are struggling and say they're taking things a day at a time. The Fleet Week festivities ramped up today in San Francisco on the Diamond. Check it out. Softball teams from the Coast Guard, the Marines, the Navy squaring off against local law enforcement agencies and community organizations. It's the eighth annual San Francisco Fleet Week softball competition. The winning team gets a trophy and bragging rights. You know what that means. Earlier, the world-famous Blue Angels were in the sky performing their first practice run, and their main performances begin tomorrow. We invite you to use our exclusive Salesforce cameras to watch all the action this Fleet Week. So if you're at home or you're at work, well, this will be the place to see the Blue Angels fly over the city. We'll be streaming this view of the waterfront this afternoon, and the air shows do run Friday through Sunday, and it'll be on KPIX.com, our Facebook, Periscope, and YouTube sites as well. Oh, and Chief Meteorologist Paul Diano has a look at our forecast and our uh, forecast for seeing this. Clearing this. skies. Yes. Perfect. Thank the you. The timing nice. is great yeah. because now we have the skies clearing up. It's time for the Blue Angels mm -hmm. to do their thing. They don't, you know, it's not as fun when you're, you have rain and low cloud cover. Sometimes they can't even do the event, but not 
a problem this weekend. Radar for the first time all week long is completely clear. There's a tiny chance of an inland shower as a boundary moves through, which will wipe away the clouds and the humidity. We're not there yet because it's still cloudy. It's still humid. 65 in San Francisco, 73 in Livermore, Concord 72, San Jose 72. That said, we are cooler than this time yesterday by up to 7 degrees in Fairfield, 6 degrees cooler at SFO, and 5 degrees cooler in Nevada, Oakland, and Hayward. Tonight, we will lose the humidity and the cloud cover. That blanket of uh, clouds will be gone from over top of us, and it's going to be about 10, 15 degrees cooler overnight tonight. 40s in the North Bay, Santa Rosa 48, Napa 49, Mountain View dropping to 53 degrees, and with that decrease in humidity tomorrow, a very pleasant Friday. Your average Highs are on the left column. On the right column, your highs tomorrow afternoon, 75 in San Jose, 3 degrees below average, and 67 in San Francisco, also 3 degrees below average. Weekend forecast coming up on KPIX 5 News at 5 o'clock. For now, that is your Picks Now forecast. All right, Paul, thank you. Well, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. To honor the cause, officers with the Fremont Police Department are wearing pink patches. Here's the department's public affairs specialist and another officer showing what they look like. And these patches are available to purchase at the Fremont PD. Now, if you're thinking of heading down, catching the Oakland Raiders face off against the Chargers in L.A. this Sunday, be prepared. You're going to face some limits on beer at the StubHub Center. You'll only be able to get one beer per transaction, and they're not going to serve beer after halftime. Because of a years long restriction on Raider fans and incidents of <gasps> fan unrest, the Raiders are going for their second consecutive win on Sunday. I'm Dennis O'Donnell. Here is the latest in Bay Area sports. The A's had all the relievers lined up and ready to beat the Yankees last night. But like Mike Tyson once said, everybody's got a plan and they get, uh, until they get punched in the mouth. First. Two batters obviously won the way I drew it up. Uh. Dirks issued a leadoff walk and then served up a two run blast to Aaron Judge. 430 feet later, it was two to nothing Yankees. Lou Trevino settled down with three shutout innings, but after Fernando Rodney struggled, Bob Melvin called in his closer, Blake Trinan in the sixth, and it didn't work either. New York scored four runs in the inning, and then Giancarlo Stanton delivered the knockout blow in the eighth inning. Trinan, who had the lowest earned run average in the majors this year, allowed a season high three runs. Despite the results, there were no second guesses in using relievers. It's not the ideal situation. We were kind of forced to do it because of our lack of starting pitching. Um, and our bullpen is our strength right now. And, uh, you know, we had to utilize our strength. Now, like I said, it's not ideal, but we had to do what we had to do. I think you're captain, but it sucks whenever, you know, you get beat without feeling like you have your best stuff. And, um, kind of a tough time to really swallow it being this late in the year. I feel like, you know, sometimes you don't have your best stuff when you get out, and sometimes you don't have your best stuff. and. It's the biggest game of the year for your team. And they, honestly, the A's had their chances to get back in the game. Marcus Semien struck out with the bases loaded in the fourth. The Yankee starter, Luis Severino, jacked out of his mind. And then in the fifth, they had first and second, nobody out. But big Dylan Bastances came in and retired six straight batters. Oakland left nine men on base, 0 for 6 with runners in scoring position. A disappointing end to a great season. Obviously, you know, we, we were happy to be here, but we wanted to win and we expected to win. So it is, you know, disappointing. But from, you know, coming into the season where nobody counted on us and nobody expected us to do anything, what we, you know, achieved should be, we should be proud of. We showed uh, some people we could do some things. And I think next year um, we're a little bit more of a threat. We had a really great season. I think, you know, moral victories suck, but at the same time, I think uh, we, we can build off of this in years to come. The A's could have used Mark Mulder in his prime. The former A's pitcher got a phone call to play in the Safeway Open that teed off today at Silverado in Napa. He thought it was a spam call, but he accepted. He's on the back nine right now at one under par. Amazing story. Meanwhile, Chase Wright shot an eight under 64 to grab the lead. Phil Mickelson is in hot pursuit. Six straight birdies for the lefties. Now one shot off the lead. 59-year-old Fred Couples shot a one over 73.
NFL Richard Sherman returned to practice Wednesday is hoping to play Sunday against the Cardinals. Sherman was expected to miss several weeks after injuring his calf in Kansas City, but appears to be ahead of schedule and early returns on the Khalil Mack trade are definitely not in the Raiders favor. Mack was named the NSC defensive player of the month, had five sacks, four forced fumbles and one interception that was returned for a touchdown to help lead the Bears to a three and one start. The Warriors had a day off earlier this week and forward Jonah Jerebko was hoping to play some golf with his new teammates, but the clubs never left the house. Jerebko begins the top five. Uh, my wife and, and, and uh, you know, some other, some other girlfriends and wives, they were like, yeah, you guys should probably stay home and, and spend some time with the family. So that's what we did. So we're, we're going to have to do that golf some other day. At number four, back to the Bronx, Sidney Hetcheria brought in a defensive replacement, makes a leaping catch to rob Marcus Semyon of extra bases. At number three, the Red Sox ace Chris Sale will start game one against the Yankees tomorrow, but was not interested in talking about it. Can you talk about your success against the Yankees this year? Uh, no. At number two, opening night at the tank, Tomas Hurdle with an early bid for the goal, but the puck threw the defender's leg scores, but the Ducks scored three times in the third and beat the Sharks 5-2. to two. And at number one, Patrick Mahomes was named the AFC's Offensive Player of the Month. He's thrown 13 touchdowns, zero interceptions during the Chiefs' 4-0 start, but his teammates and coaches would prefer if Mahomes just let his play do the talking. Well, he's got a unique voice, right? I mean, so. It's me. It's who I am. So I'm never going to be uh, insecure about it. Uh, froggish. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, ho, Kermit the Frog here, and this is a mystery box. I've heard it since I was in, like, seventh grade. So, but it, it, it's something that I, I've kind of embraced. I don't know. More like Grover, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I like that. Court. I like he's, he's got the swagger to him, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's right. He's what it a is. confident guy. 13 touchdowns, no interceptions. And he was mm -hmm. really crediting Alex Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, Andy Reid was crediting Alex Smith for bringing Mahomes kind of along. mentoring him. Yeah. yeah. And then Smith, of course, got traded to Washington. Well, right. Kermit's got the swagger, right? Yeah. Am I missing Did something? Well, Miss Piggy thinks so. <laughs> Do you have a Kermit impersonation? Kermit the Frog here. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's we, it. That's what we got. We stream our KPX 5 news Nothing at 5 more. every day on CBSSF.com, and we'll be back here in less than 60 minutes. Picks Now News is sponsored by Chevron, proud to support STEM education in the Bay Area. Meet our STEM standout, Nicole Collins Puri. TechBridge Girls is focusing on exciting, educating, and equipping girls to really see STEM as a vehicle to economic mobility and better life's chances. We're creating an environment that says, we see you, we hear you, and we understand your journey. Chevron and KPIX5 teaming up to support STEM education in the Bay Area. Front row seat. Tired of that Chucky nonsense? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. For the highlights. Oh, the band is out on the field! The heartbreaks. And the heroes that changed the game. Rain is a blessing. Just an outstanding football game. Let's go! World champion. The moments <laughs> that changed us all. It's a madhouse at Candlestick. We never get tired of talking about Bay Area sports, but tonight, it's one for the record books. 70 years of champions and counting. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. There is a unique power in truth. What's your message to the people who could do something? And whether the story is around the globe, across the nation, or down the street. Look at this. We'll find it. It amazes me that you were able to see your house destroyed and you went right back to work. And I would much rather be out there helping. Because every evening, we want to put the power of truth in your hands. Good evening, I'm Jeff Glore, and we are going to begin the broadcast tonight. The with CBS great. Evening News with Jeff Glore. Original reporting. One voice. We are planning to mobilize. Can ignite a movement. We want to claim Alcatraz Island for all of the natives in this land. And the Bay Area has been home to many. In a state of extreme emergency on the campus. It was necessary to call out the National Guard. 
Women were in complete command. And San Jose State joined with San Francisco State. The demonstration outside continues. One of the activists live on the phone. For 70 years, we've seen our community speak out. The way he helped a little boy who got AIDS from a blood transfusion. But also come together. Happy birthday, Golden Gate Bridge. That kid saves the city. Now we're ready for whatever comes next. Let's go live to the crowd. Proud to be Northern California's first television station. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. That was truly a day that altered our times. Or on that evening, KPIX went on the air. The Beatles are just minutes away from the Bay Area tonight. We're not going to stand by and let our people be uh, shoved around. We must escalate our protest against the war. But they come here with the purpose of enjoying themselves. There's another aftershock. It's really terrible up there. I am a soldier in the people's army. Going in the end zone. In the Bay Area, change has always been part of the story. All this time, we've had changes too. KPIX 5, proud to be Northern California's first television station. For 70 years, we've been trusted to tell your story. And whatever comes next. The latest in this original report. No, that's one thing that will never change. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. You ready? I'm ready. Ten steps ahead of you. I'm not buying what you're saying to me, but I'm going to let you dig your hole. No, 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 no. You don't hustle me. Now we're getting somewhere. You're making up a story now. I can tell. I'm like a truth machine. We're done. Judge Judy, weeknights at 7.30 on KPIX 5. Knob Hill, 1948. A tower goes up on this landmark hotel. San Francisco's pioneer television station. The call letters KPIX were short for pictures as we brought the very first ones into local living rooms. From wherever the news happens. The signing of the Treaty of Peace with Japan. And along with the Bay Area, we've been innovating ever since. KPIX has arranged for this first live telecast of open heart surgery. You ever seen this little gadget? We call it the Live Eye Van. This is kind of the first computer of the 1990s. Virtual reality is past its awkward teenage years. Hi, my name is Pepper. But like all great pioneers. And this is your PixNow update. We keep moving forward. The view from Sky Drone 5. 70 years of Bay Area stories. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. What would you do if a date asked you how much you weigh? Leave. Flap them. Cut them. It was going so well. Until... Ask him how much his mama weighs. <laughs> oh, we talking about weight, huh? Well, how much your mama weighs? All new Family Feud. You ain't got to worry about how much I weigh. You won't be feeling nothing over here. <laughs> Family View, weeknights at 7 on KPIX 5. Behind every iconic moment is a story. No one in the country believed that we could do it. And for 70 years, KPIX 5 has been bringing the Bay Area sports story home. How about just one more at bat? How about a couple more World Series and we can keep doing this? From the first televised game in Northern California, we've had a front row seat. Tired of that Chucky nonsense? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. For the highlights. Oh, the band is out on the field! The heartbreaks and the heroes that changed the game. Rain is a blessing. Just an outstanding football game. Let's go! World champion. The moments that changed us all. It's a madhouse at Candlestick. We never get tired of talking about Bay Area sports, but tonight it's one for the record books. 70 years of champions and counting. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. There is a unique power in truth. What's your message to the people who could do something? And whether the story is around the globe, across the nation, or down the street. Look at this. We'll find it. It amazes me that you were able to see your house destroyed and you went right back to work. I would much rather be out there helping 
Because every evening, we want to put the power of truth in your hands. Good evening, I'm Jeff Glor, and we are going to begin the broadcast tonight. The CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor. Original reporting. One voice. We are planning to mobilize. Can ignite a movement. We want to claim Alcatraz Island for all of the natives in this land. And the Bay Area has been home to many. In a state of extreme emergency on the campus. It was necessary to call out the National Guard. Women were in complete command. And San Jose State joined with San Francisco State. The demonstration outside continues. One of the activists live on the phone. For 70 years, we've seen our community speak out. The way he helped a little boy who got AIDS from a blood transfusion. But also come together. Happy birthday, Golden Gate Bridge! That king saves the city! Now we're ready for whatever comes next. Let's go live to the crowd. Proud to be Northern California's first television station. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. That was truly a day that altered our times. For on that evening, KPIX went on the air. The Beatles are just minutes away from the Bay Area tonight. We're not going to stand by and let our people be uh, shoved around. We must escalate our protest against the war. But they come here with the purpose of enjoying themselves. There's another aftershock. It's really terrible up there. I'm a soldier in the people's army. Going in the end zone. In the Bay Area, change has always been part of the story. But all this time, We've had changes too. KPIX 5, proud to be Northern California's first television station. For 70 years, we've been trusted to tell your story. And whatever comes next. The latest in this original report. No, that's one thing that will never change. KPIX 5 News, expect more. You ready? I'm ready. I'm 10 steps ahead of you. I'm not buying what you're saying to me, but I'm going to let you dig your hole. No, 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 no. You don't hustle me. Now we're getting somewhere. You're making up a story now. I can tell. I'm like a truth machine. We're done. Judge Judy, weeknights at 7.30 on KPIX 5. Knob Hill, 1948. A tower goes up on this landmark hotel. San Francisco's pioneer television station. The call letters KPIX were short for pictures as we brought the very first ones into local living rooms. From wherever the news happens. The signing of the Treaty of Peace with Japan. And along with the Bay Area, we've been innovating ever since. KPIX has arranged for this first live telecast of open heart surgery. You ever seen this little gadget? We call it the Live Eye Van. This is kind of the first computer of the 1990s. Virtual reality is past its awkward teenage years. Hi, my name is Pepper. But like all great pioneers. And this is your Pix Now update. We keep moving forward. The view from Sky Drone 5. 70 years of Bay Area stories. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. What would you do if a date asked you how much you weigh? Leave. Flap them. Cut them. It was going so well until... Ask him how much his mama weighs. <laughs> oh, we talking about weight, huh? Well, how much your mama weigh? All new Family Feud. You ain't got to worry about how much I weigh. You won't be feeling nothing over here. <laughs> Family View, weeknights at 7 on KPIX 5. Behind every iconic moment is a story. No one in the country believed that we could do it. And for 70 years, KPIX 5 has been bringing the Bay Area sports story home. How about just one more at bat? How about a couple more World Series so we can keep doing this? From the first televised game in Northern California, we've had a front row seat. Tired of the Chucky nonsense? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. For the highlights. Oh, the band is out on the field! The heartbreaks and the heroes that changed the game. Rain is a blessing. Just an outstanding football game. Let's go! World champion. The moments that changed us all. It's a madhouse at Candlestick. 
We never get tired of talking about Bay Area sports, but tonight it's one for the record books. 70 years of champions and counting. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. There is a unique power in truth. What's your message to the people who could do something? And whether the story is around the globe, across the nation, or down the street. Look at this. We'll find it. It amazes me that you were able to see your house destroyed and you went right back to work. And I would much rather be out there helping. Because every evening, we want to put the power of truth in your hands. Good evening, I'm Jeff Glore, and we are going to begin the broadcast tonight. The CBS great. Evening News with Jeff Glore. Original reporting. One voice. We are planning to mobilize. Can ignite a movement. We want to claim Alcatraz Island for all of the natives in this land. And the Bay Area has been home to many. In a state of extreme emergency on the campus. It was necessary to call out the National Guard. <laughs> Women were in complete command. And San Jose State joined with San Francisco State. The demonstration outside continues. One of the activists live on the phone. For 70 years, we've seen our community speak out. The way he helped a little boy who got AIDS from a blood transfusion. But also come together. Happy birthday, Golden Gate Bridge! That kid saves the city! Now we're ready for whatever comes next. Let's go live to the crowd. Proud to be Northern California's first television station. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. That was truly a day that altered our times. For on that evening, KPIX went on the air. The Beatles are just minutes away from the Bay Area tonight. We're not going to stand by and let our people be uh, shoved around. We must escalate our protest against the war. But they come here with the purpose of enjoying themselves. There's another aftershock. He's really tall, bro. Yeah. I'm a soldier in the people's army. Going in the end zone. In the Bay Area, change has always been part of the story. But all this time, we've had changes too. KPIX 5, proud to be Northern California's first television station. For 70 years, we've been trusted to tell your story. And whatever comes next... The latest in this original report. No, that's one thing that will never change. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. You ready? I'm ready. I'm 10 steps ahead of you. I'm not buying what you're saying to me, but I'm going to let you dig your hole. No, 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 no. You don't hustle me. Now we're getting somewhere. You're making up a story now. I can tell. I'm like a truth machine. We're done. Judge Judy, weeknights at 7.30 on KPIX 5. Knob Hill, 1948. A tower goes up on this landmark hotel. San Francisco's pioneer television station. The call letters KPIX were short for pictures as we brought the very first ones into local living rooms. From wherever the news happens. The signing of the Treaty of Peace with Japan. And along with the Bay Area, we've been innovating ever since. KPIX has arranged for this first live telecast of open heart surgery. You ever seen this little gadget? We call it the Live Eye Van. This is kind of the first computer of the 1990s. Virtual reality is past its awkward teenage years. Hi, my name is Pepper. But like all great pioneers... And this is your Pix Now update. We keep moving forward. The view from Sky Drone 5. 70 years of Bay Area stories. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. What would you do if a date asked you how much you weigh? Leave. Flap him. Cuss him. It was going so well until... Ask him how much his mama weighs. <laughs> oh, we talking about weight, huh? Well, how much your mama weigh? All new Family Feud. You ain't got to worry about how much I weigh. You won't be feeling nothing over here. <laughs> Family View, weeknights at 7 on KPIX 5. Behind every iconic moment is a story. No one in the country believed that we could do it. And for 70 years, 
KPIX 5 has been bringing the Bay Area sports story home. How about just one more at bat? How about a couple more World Series if we can keep doing this? From the first televised game in Northern California, we've had a front row seat. Tired of that Chucky nonsense? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. For the highlights. Oh, the band is out on the field! The heartbreaks and the heroes that changed the game. Rain is a blessing. Just an outstanding football game. Let's go! World champion. The moments that changed us all. It's a madhouse at Candlestick. We never get tired of talking about Bay Area sports, but tonight it's one for the record books. 70 years of champions and counting. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. There is a unique power in truth. What's your message to the people who could do something? And whether the story is around the globe, across the nation, or down the street. Look at this. We'll find it. It amazes me that you were able to see your house destroyed and you went right back to work. And I would much rather be out there helping. Because every evening, we want to put the power of truth in your hands. Good evening, I'm Jeff Glore, and we are going to begin the broadcast tonight. The CBS Evening News with Jeff Glore. Original reporting. One voice. We are planning to mobilize. Can ignite a movement. We want to claim Alcatraz Island for all of the natives in this land. And the Bay Area has been home to many. In a state of extreme emergency on the campus. It was necessary to call out the National Guard. Women were in complete command. And San Jose State joined with San Francisco State. The demonstration outside continues. One of the activists live on the phone. For 70 years, we've seen our community speak out. The way he helped a little boy who got AIDS from a blood transfusion. But also come together. Happy birthday, Golden Gate Bridge! That kid saves the city! Now we're ready for whatever comes next. Let's go live to the crowd. Proud to be Northern California's first television station. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. That was truly a day that altered our times. For on that evening, KPIX went on the air. The Beatles are just minutes away from the Bay Area tonight. We're not going to stand by and let our people be uh, shoved around. We must escalate our protest against the war. But they come here with the purpose of enjoying themselves. There's another aftershock. He's really tall, bro. Yeah. I'm a soldier in the people's army. in the end zone. In the Bay Area. Change has always been part of the story. But all this time, we've had changes too. KPIX 5, proud to be Northern California's first television station. For 70 years, we've been trusted to tell your story. And whatever comes next. The latest in this original report. No, that's one thing that will never change. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. You ready? I'm ready. I'm 10 steps ahead of you. I'm not buying what you're saying to me, but I'm going to let you dig your hole. No, 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 no. You don't hustle me. Now we're getting somewhere. You're making up a story now. I can tell. I'm like a truth machine. We're done. Judge Judy, weeknights at 7.30 on KPIX 5. Knob Hill, 1948. A tower goes up on this landmark hotel. San Francisco's pioneer television station. The call letters KPIX were short for pictures as we brought the very first ones into local living rooms. From wherever the news happens. The signing of the Treaty of Peace with Japan. And along with the Bay Area, we've been innovating ever since. KPIX has arranged for this first live telecast of open heart surgery. You ever seen this little gadget? We call it the Live Eye Van. This is kind of the first computer of the 1990s. Virtual reality is past its awkward teenage years. Hi, my name is Pepper. But like all great pioneers... And this is your PixNow update. We keep moving forward. The view from Sky Drone 5. 70 years of Bay Area stories. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. What would you do if a date asked you how much you weigh? Leave. Flap him. Toss him. It was going so well. 
until... Ask him how much his mama weighs. <laughs> oh, we talking about weight, huh? Well, how much your mama weighs? <laughs> All new Family Feud. You ain't got to worry about how much I weigh. You won't be feeling nothing over here. <laughs> Family Feud, weeknights at 7 on KPIX 5. Behind every iconic moment is a story. No one in the country believed that we could do it. And for 70 years, KPIX 5 has been bringing the Bay Area sports story home. How about just one more at bat? How about a couple more World Series and we can keep doing this? From the first televised game in Northern California, we've had a front row seat. I'm tired of the Chucky nonsense? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. For the highlights. Oh, the band is out on the field! The heartbreaks and the heroes that changed the game. Rain is a blessing. Just an outstanding football game. Let's go! World champion. The moments that changed us all. It's a madhouse at Candlestick. We never get tired of talking about Bay Area sports, but tonight, it's one for the record books. 70 years of champions and counting. KPIX 5 News. Expect more. There is a unique power in truth. What's your message to the people who could do something? And whether the story is around the globe, across the nation, or down the street. Look at this. We'll find it. It amazes me that you were able to see your house destroyed and you went right back to work. And I would much rather be out there helping. Because every evening, we want to put the power of truth in your hands. Good evening, I'm Jeff Glore, and we are going to begin the broadcast tonight. The CBS great. Evening News with Jeff Glore. Original reporting. One voice. We are planning to mobilize. Can ignite a movement. We want to claim Alcatraz Island for all of the natives in this land. And the Bay Area has been home to.